Oh, he's looking at it. That is a shark too, I think. Oh, he's trying to snag me. Righto, uh, been wanting to do this for a minute. We finally kind of got the chance to do it. Went out fishing this morning, you'll see that in a second. Um, it's a really, really short episode and I've been planning this for a while. I wanted to throw this in at the top of one, so we're gonna do it in this episode. Quick run through of what I keep in my shark bag when we do go shark fishing, just for pups. Um, I'll give you a run through of the gear I use and uh, everything that is essential for that type of fishing. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing is a brag mat. Pretty useful for just measuring whether you've hit that meter mark or not. Keep a sharp knife as well for cutting bait and cutting traces if need be. Also pliers with cutters preferably. Ideally you want a bigger pair than this, but uh, this is the pair I'm running with at the moment. Also keep some leader, pretty essential too. 60 pound is what I use. Um, anything from 40 through 50, anything like that is gonna work just fine too, so. But I like 60 just because the heavier the better. You don't, hey buddy, how you doing? You don't actually get detrimented any if you're using less leader. Come on, we'll talk about sharks, Casper. What are we? Do you like the leader? Jeez, you're hairy, look at you. Oh my God, you are a hairy boy. All right, in the actual box itself, currently I've got one of these little primal boxes. They're actually pretty good. Um, folds out like that. So first box, <clears throat> what we'll keep here is a bunch of star seekers. Um, I've got two different sizes here. Really, the heavier the better. It's pretty, if you can get away with unweighted, you tr you're fishing unweighted for sharks. So you get these small ones like this if the tide's just doing a little bit, and you get big ones if the tide's doing a fair bit. That's pretty much all I keep. I don't really run anything in the middle of those two. I've got some small 40 centimeter traces and some longer 60 centimeter traces. Um, I don't really go too much longer than that at any given point. Pretty much that's gonna do us, especially if we're running some heavy leader like 60 pound. Um, those traces will just be fine. Uh, both of them are 60 pound, I believe. You can go lighter, you can go 40, uh, you can go up to 80. Um, I just find 60 is a happy medium between missing fish um, because they see the trace and they're a bit trace shy and uh, actually uh, having fish bite straight through. Even a little shark can bite through a 40 pound trace. We've got clips here. These are pretty useful for star sinkers, especially when you're fishing the slack tide. So you put it on the star sinker just like this. Can you not attack me please? Stop it. You put it on the star sinker just like this and then what happens is, as soon as the tide starts running out, um, you have this on and when it's slack, you just unclip this little bit, take the sinker straight off and your ride is rain. You can just keep fishing. Save you cutting it off and then retying the whole rig. Um, so yeah, clips are pretty useful too. Got four different kinds of hooks in here. I've just got some El Cheapo ones from um, I think Prime will do these as well. Or just like an octopus circle hook. These are fine, they work. They're pretty good hookup rate, they're pretty sharp. Uh, not a lot of longevity though, they rust pretty quick and the tips blunten quite quickly. Um, we've got my favorite hooks to use is the old Gamakatsu circle octopus hooks. These things hardly miss a fish and they almost always hit right in the side of the mouth. They're a very, very good hook to use. One of my favorites for sure. Very, very useful. I've got some smaller ones if we're using really small baits. I can't remember what brand these are. These are not Gamakatsus. Um, but yeah, again, just a circle hook. That one's actually a fairly small bait that i guess you'd use this if there was like a bunch of catfish around and the sharks were quiet and you're just getting little runs but no hookups um or if you had a really really small long fin eel or a really big long fin eel that you filleted it into small pieces um like if he was two if he's a meter plus you're probably not going to use cuts of him so that's a useful hook for that again we've got that circle hook um and then we've got some just standard kind of uh well, I guess what would you call these? I'm not even sure. We've got just some standard hooks. There's no octopus, uh, no circle on these ones. These ones you do have to use to like hook right into something. Um, useful if you're snell rigging. Not that we do that much for sharks, but if you ever do decide to, useful for that. Um, also useful if, you, uh, if you're if uh, you running a sinker on the bottom. Sometimes these can be better. Rather than the hook sliding into the mouth, you actually set the hook on these ones. Um, so they can be pretty useful as well. They're very sharp. And uh, I can't remember the brand, but they'll work as well. So yeah, I like to keep... 
Some cheap ones, if we're running through gear or there's snags. My favorite gamakatsus that are, are always be my go-to. Some smaller circle hooks in case we've got a small bait or there's a lot of catfish around. And some hooks with that aren't circles that are about the same size as the others to set the hook into if there's really big current. And uh, ultimately, that is what I keep in my shark tackle box. That's what I take with me shark fishing. Not a lot of gear, but uh, plenty enough to get the job done. What do you reckon, old man? Was that good? Hmm? Was that good? Old man? Old man? Fucking swipe at me mid goddamn vlog. What the hell's wrong with you, Casper? Do you guys know why he's called Casper? Because he's about to fucking die and become a ghost. So I'm just pulled some string on this. This is probably. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I don't know. I'm not sold one way or another. I might turn the bait runner on on this because that nearly took the rod just about. Um. Yeah, if something eats that, I'm gonna have to wrestle it through all these trees. I didn't even see this shit the other night. I did it the other night in the dark, drunk, so surely Sober Nat can do it in the light. Sober. Yeah, that is the worst timing ever. Oh shit, something's looking at this. I don't know if it's a shark, but. A shark probably would have run by now. Oh, he's looking at it. That is a shark too, I think. Oh, he's trying to snag me. We're on, guys. We're on to something. Yeah, that's a shark. You First of the day on the sinker rig. That is very strange. I'm a bit surprised by that. It's not common you get them on the sinker rigs. Well, I think that's a shark. I'd be pretty shocked if that's a big catfish. You know what? I actually think this is a big catfish. I'm going to cry, Steve. If I wind this up and it's a big fucking stupid catfish, I'm going to cry my fucking eyes out. There you go. Run. Run. No, you, you want to run more than that. You want to run more than that. Could be a really small one. If it is a shark, it is a baby. <laughs> Nah, those are catfish head shakes, I reckon, guys. It's a big fucking catfish, there's no doubt about that, but I still think this is probably a catfish. Nearly got mono on spool here, so we'll tighten up on him once we do. I think this is 20 pounds with 50 pound mono. Come on, shark. 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 Ooh, he's kicking around a bit. I don't know. I'm still thinking big catfish. Yeah. Fucking dirty great catfish. Fuck it. A hell of a fight. God damn. Oh, fucking hell, that's basically a shark. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck me. That's a monster. I knew from those head shakes something wasn't quite right. Right on the bottom too. You don't get these guys once you start fishing unweighted, but when you're still throwing star sinkers out when the tide's moving, guys, you are prone to the odd catfish. That's a fucking humongous catfish too. Jesus Christ. He's gonna be running up close to 50, 55 centimeters, that thing. Bloody hell. One we got the other night was 60, and this guy is gonna, oh my God, he's gonna be about 60 as well. He's 61, holy shit. 61 centimeter fucking forked out catfish. Righty root. 